Question 1. John had 145 toys and marbles altogether. He gave 4 7 of his toys and 3 5 of his marbles to his friends. In the end, he had an equal number of toys and marbles left. How many marbles did he give away? So let's figure out what fraction of the toys were left. Since he gave away 4 out of 7, this would mean 3 7 of the toys were left. And what about for the marbles? He gave away 3 5, which means the remaining will be the 2 5. So let's read this statement again. In the end, he had an equal number of toys and marbles left, which means these two fractions are equal in terms of the model. So in my previous video, I mentioned what happened, what do you do when a statement uh, mentioned one fraction is equal to another. So step number one, you will make the numerator the same, all right? Make them into the same numerator. Therefore, 3 out of 7, what is the common multiple for 3 and 2? 6, isn't it? So times 2, times 2, 6 out of 14. What about 2 fifth? For 2 fifth, I'm going to times 3, times 3, the equivalent fraction will be 6 out of 15. Now, after they have achieved the same numerator, what about the denominator? What did I mention in the previous video? The denominator will represent their own total, which means there are 14 units of toys and 15 units of marbles in total. Alright? So in total, there are 29 units. Step number one. 29 units will be equal to 1, 4, 5. And then 1 unit will be 1, 4, 5 divided by 29 to give you 5. What do they want us to find? How many marbles did he give away? So um, out of 15 units of marbles he had, there are 6 left which means he gave away 9 units of marbles, isn't it? So the next step is number of marbles he gave away, which is 9 times 5. All right, He gave away 9 units and that will give you 45. Next. Question 2. There is a total of 153 blue and yellow pens. When one third of the blue pens and four seventh of the yellow pens are removed, the number of yellow pens remaining is three times the blue pens. How many yellow pens are there at first? Hence the keywords at first. So my strategy is to draw the model backwards or to work it backwards. Uh, again, it doesn't mean that when you see these two words, the only way is to work it backwards. But by and large, usually that should be the most efficient way. There are obviously some questions in my experience, uh, lesser of them, all right, that you need to work it forward when they ask you to find something at first. So let's try out drawing it backwards. What is the last information that was given to us from the back? The number of yellow pens remaining is three times the number of blue pens. So we have yellow. The number of yellow pens remaining is three times. So for example, like this. Three times the number of blue pens. So blue pens is just one unit. All right, so I'm done with this information. Let's work it backwards. What happens before this? 
one third of the blue pens and four seven of the yellow pens are removed. Hence, let's talk about the yellow pens first. What happens to the yellow pens? Four out of seven are removed. Then you are left with this. A very nice number, isn't it? When you remove four out of seven, you are left with three, one, two, three, three out of the seven. So we just add the four units back. So let's add it back. One, two, three, four. So these were the removed. And we are done with yellow. Let's look at blue. When one third of the blue pens were removed, uh, are removed. So this is after one third has been removed. Therefore, what is remaining must be the two thirds, isn't it? All right, you remove a third of the blue pens, you are left with two thirds, all right? Two out of three. So there's a missing one box. However, before we draw back the one box, if you cut this into two, everything else, we cut it into two also so that it's equal. So they are all equal units for comparison. All right. And right now, we can add back the one third that was removed. All right, so this is the removed. And finally, we are done with this. We are done with this. Next, moving back again to the first sentence. There is a total of one, five, three blue and yellow pens. So this entire thing, it's one, five, three. Hence, from this model, it is quite easy to see, right? Uh, how many units is one five three? We have okay. We need to count this. So three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen, fourteen plus three, seventeen. Hence, step number one: seventeen units is equal to one five three. One unit will be 153 divided by 17 that should give you 9 and how many yellow pens are there so yellow pens in total we have 14 yellow pens number of yellow pens there are at first so 9 times 14 there will be 90 plus 36 and 1 2 6 next question 3 box a b and c each contain a certain number of fruits when a third of the fruits in box a and a quarter of the fruits in box b were placed into box c they each had 30 fruits, 36 fruits. How many fruits were in box C at first? Again, oops, box C at first, the keywords. Hence, I'm going to work my way backwards, starting from the last information. Then I'll draw it all the way until I achieve the model, which is at first. So I'm going to work it backwards. until I achieve the model at first. So what is at the end? We have box A, we have box B, and we have box C. They each had 36 fruits, so equal number. That is, that is the meaning, right? We can, so box C, okay, let me start with A. So they have 36 fruits. So here, equal number, 36, 36, and, 36 all right so box c it's 36 this is from receiving after receiving from a and b we have c at 36 36 36 all right so we are done with this moving back what happens to b um, a quarter of the fruits in b were transferred to c so after giving away a quarter of the fruits in b you should be left with three quarter Hence, let's draw the three quarter. All right, so this is the three quarter that remains. A quarter of this went down. 
But we know that all these are 36, isn't it? This whole thing is 36. So we know, in actual fact, it's 12. Okay, let me use another color. 12, 12, 12. All right, so we are done with B. Let's go to A. What happens to A? A third of the fruits in A was given to C. One third. So you give away one third, you are left with two thirds. Hence, you are left with just two units of. All right. So one third went down. How many fruits are there in each box here, each unit here? 36 divided by 2, we will get 18. 18. All right. If you want, I can just simply draw out the missing one third. All right. That was given. And for B, this is the missing a quarter that was given to C. So this went down, this went down. Therefore, how many fruits were in box C at first? I think from here, it is quite straightforward to see the answer, isn't it? You just need to take 36 minus 12 minus 18. Alright, we're going to return the 12 back to B, return the 18 back to A. However, well, we need to write some workings, isn't it? One third of the number of fruits in box A that will be 36 divided by 2 to get 18 second step probably you can write it here a quarter of the fruits of the number Okay, let's be clear. It's talking about the number of fruits in box B. 36 divided by 3 to get 12. And then we can finally arrive at the answer. Number of fruits in box C at first so it's 36 we return the 12 to b and return the 18 to a and we'll be left with six and that is the answer moving on question four sam had some yellow blue and red tokens there were 105 more yellow tokens than blue tokens there were three quarter as many red tokens as blue tokens. Given that a quarter of the total tokens were blue, how many tokens were there all together? Hence, I'm going to draw it forward from the beginning all the way to the end. So step number one, Sam had some yellow, blue and red. So we're going to write it yellow, blue, and red tokens this is this is the only thing we can draw from the first sentence all right nothing else next information there were 105 more yellow tokens than blue 105 so there is a 105 more yellow than blue i believe at us as of this point everyone is able to draw all right this is just from your Premier 2 model drawing. And I'm done. Next, there were three quarter as many red tokens as blue. So the numerator belongs to the red. Okay, let me just... The numerator belongs to the red. The denominator belongs to the blue. Okay? So remember, whenever they mentioned a fraction uh, in relation to two items, right? The numerator always belongs to the first thing they mentioned. The denominator belongs to the second thing they mentioned. Alright, this is one simplistic way to remember. Hence, again, red, it's three units. Blue, it's four units. So let's partition blue into four parts first. So we can draw out four 
red. Red will be 3. Okay, 3 is to 4. 3 is to 4. And since we cut this into 4 units, for the yellow we shall do the same, so that we can have equal units for comparison. And we are also done with this statement. Given that a quarter of the total tokens were blue, all right, a quarter of the total tokens were blue. How many tokens were there all together? This four units represents a quarter of the total tokens, which means two out of four will be eight units, isn't it? Again, uh, a quarter of all the tokens is represented by four units. So two out of four, 8 units, twice of this, 3 out of 4, 12. All the tokens, one whole, will be 16 units, which means everything here, you should get 16 units. Okay, this one quarter is 4 units as represented in the model. So one whole will be 16 units. Then from here, can we figure out how many units is 1, 0, 5? So we can count. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 units, which means this must be 5 units. So step 1, 5 units is equal to 1, 0, 5, 1 unit. 105 divided by 5 that will give you 21 every unit here is 21 how many tokens were there all together well we figure out there are 16 units isn't it or you can go and find what is 11 units then you plus 105 all right both ways will get you the answer number of tokens there were all together Twenty-one for one unit, and we're gonna multiply by sixteen to find out what is everything. So this is uh twenty times sixteen. There will be three two zero three two zero plus sixteen three three six. Reminder: for fraction questions, by and large, you will need to draw model. It is just a matter of drawing it forward or you draw it backwards. Usually, if they ask you to find something at first, then you will draw it backwards. Okay?